In New Jersey, a black mother is seven times more likely to die from maternity related complications than a white woman. First Lady Tammy Murphy is on a mission to reduce New Jersey's maternal mortality by 50% over the next five years through her Nurture New Jersey statewide initiative. And you see right now she joins us live this morning with an update on the program. Good morning, First Lady Murphy. Good to see you. Great to see you too, Betty. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. This is a really big program. Nurture New Jersey is also on a fast track. Uh, just last week, Governor Murphy, your husband, signed the newborn nurse visitation law, which really guarantees all new moms a follow-up visit from a medical professional within two weeks of giving birth. So how quickly will those visits begin? Yeah, um, those they're going to start rolling out, um, you know, as the year advances. We obviously have to build up the number of nurses who are trained to do this but um, we're really excited because this is something we've been doing uh, but not on such a grand scale so we're really we're really enthusiastic and um, I could not be more thankful to my husband for signing this into law. I got to tell you a lot of new moms are going to welcome this especially because once you get sent home from the hospital with your baby there are a lot of questions there are a lot of complications and having that nurse in your home is going to really head off some major problems and, and, and relieve some anxiety but will these home visits launch statewide or will they be rolled out regionally you know <clears throat> we are, first of all you know I, I just want to point out a couple things to it, with this respect to this program, just in case people don't know, um, you just stated, you know, the seven times more likely um, uh, statistic. But I want to just also say 52 percent of the deaths that occur that are maternity related occur postpartum. Mm. And it is estimated that two thirds of those are preventable. Yeah. So having a nurse actually step into someone's private home where mom feels comfortable and feels at ease is really going to uh, be such a, a solve for this problem, given that, you know, moms will be able to open up about any challenges they have. A nurse will, will be able to see if there's food insecurity or not. Right. They're going to see if there are other services that are needed um, there and then, and they can connect other, you know, other services to the mom mm -hmm. and to the family. And, and, you know, it also, it does something else. It does two other things that, that I want to make sure people understand. One is because it's universally available, no matter what your income level is, um, it will remove the stigma that some uh, perceive when it comes to government services on the one hand. And on the other hand, just imagine, you know, moms always put themselves last. And so when you have a, a nurse who's coming to your house, you don't have to worry about transportation. You don't have to worry about childcare for your other children. So there are so many ways that this is going to be able to impact our moms and our families across the state of New Jersey. Um, and, it, and, you know, once we once we roll the program out entirely, um, this is going to be something that I, I you know, we're going to be the first in the country that are doing it at this level. Um, and certainly, you know, that's that's partially because we're not only handling the moms who have delivered naturally or delivered in a birthing center or wherever they may have delivered, but it's also for moms who may have adopted a child or who um, sadly may have delivered a stillborn child. So. Um, so this is wide this ranging big, indeed. Big deal. Um, yeah. But back to the question, this is an amazing program that has so many facets of it. It's it's widely encompassing. Like you say, it's yep. the first in the nation. So how will it roll out and, and when will it be available? Um, like I said, we're already doing part of we already have this program in New Jersey. We just don't have it to this breadth and depth. Right. So this is it's going to roll out basically before a, a mom leaves a birthing center or a hospital. Um, the the they will have been connected with the service. So so this is literally at the point of delivery at the point initial point of care. Um, we are going to connect the moms with this opportunity where they can have the option of having someone come to visit them in their home within the first two weeks. So it's available right now throughout the entire state and not in just certain regions. It's no, it's available now. Um, it's it's just not, it's it's available now, but not as, it's not as um, available broadly. So let's put it that way. So once, once we get the, I don't want to call it a stockpile, but once we train all of our nurses and get the entire um, get the entire program funded here and now, then then it will it will roll out across the entire state. Within you know, I don't I don't want to give you a time frame because uh, I don't I don't want to I don't think that I want to put my finger on the on the on the button on that one because it's we're talking about human beings here and we're not just talking about machines that we can get up and running. But mm -hmm. um, we are we are really excited to have this really 
rolling out very quickly. Gotcha. All right. So prenatal care, let's talk about that. It's just as critical as postpartum care. Are yes. there services currently in place to ensure that equity for pregnant black women uh, will be in place when they go to the hospital to get ready to give birth? So listen, you've talked a little bit about Nurture NJ, which is our statewide awareness plan. Um, and, and this is, the, the whole notion behind this is that we need to have not, uh, we want to be not only the safest place to deliver a child, but we want to be the most equitable. And so um, we have already over the past several years been rolling out a number of initiatives to ensure that there is equity. Um, I'll give you a couple of examples just off the top of my head. One okay. is in ensuring that everyone in our uh, labor and delivery hospitals um, and our FQHCs, they all are trained about implicit bias. And that's not just the doctor or the caregiver, that's got to be the receptionist who welcomes you when you walk in. It's got to be every single person who, with whom a mom or a family might come into contact. That that's that seems kind of basic, right? So that's yeah. that's one piece. Um, another 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 thing that um, that kind of strikes at the at the equity is is um, you know we used to deliver, we used to Medicaid used to be reimbursed for um, for elective cesarean sections. Mm -hmm. And now we are saying you, you can't do that. Um, that that can only happen if there is a reason for having that cesarean. Because, as you can well imagine, even even the most well-meaning of of uh, practitioners, if you're going into an area where you might be going to a clinic and you might be seeing a number of women over the course of the day, it would be a lot easier to just line up one after another and deliver babies on a schedule than it would be to not do that and you know that that's a serious surgery um having having a, a cesarean section oh is a i serious know surgery. i've had two i understand mm -hmm. so so if you don't if you don't if you know you might leave that that uh, delivery area and go home home and either need to go back to work immediately because your family doesn't have the resources mm -hmm. or you may have a lot of children and not have the help you need i mean there's many reasons why it's more dangerous for people who don't have resources than it is for those who do sure. so, so there's there's a number. I mean, listen, the, the strategic plan that we rolled out last January has 70 explicit action steps. My husband has has incorporated 10 of those action steps in the budget for this year. And, and that is really exciting. And, and this bill that you that you were interested in talking about that is this is one piece of the puzzle. Um, you know, but we are we are looking as well. I, I know when we last spoke, we talked a little bit about the Innovation and Research Center that we are right. looking yeah. to build in Trenton. And, and I'm really excited to tell you that the uh, request for information was broadly successful. We had over 50 different organizations respond to that RFI. Um, and those include everything from faith institutions to mm -hmm. healthcare systems to universities. And, and those are not just in New Jersey. We've had responses from Washington, DC and uh, well, you New know, York it is and as really far away key. as Minnesota. As I mentioned, First Lady, it's really key to making sure that women are healthy and safe after giving birth. And this initiative is going to be vital to that. I know it's a passion project for you. I know it's a passion project because you're here talking to me about it on your birthday of all days. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank I want to bring in Dan who wants to wish Hi. you a happy birthday as well. What's hey Dan, happening? How are you? Good morning. Yeah. Hey, it's been a while. Hey, happy birthday. And I just want to say, you know, I hope the governor treats you well. Does he have any plans yeah, to do, do something special fun? for your birthday? We're going to have all our kids around. We've got some some really close family friends who are who we'll see um, outside. Of course, we're all yeah. going to be outside, <laughs> but uh, we're going to we're going to all be together um, a little bit later on today, and and okay. that'll be great. We well, saw uh -huh. we saw him yesterday. You know, he was um, scolding some people at a press conference. It made me want to ask you, who was the disciplinarian in the household when they were raising the yeah. kiddos? Yeah, you know, we're, we're pretty much for team. I guess. <laughs> there you go. That's right. There you go. You yeah. got a mama bear think, there. He might be. He might be a little louder than I am, but uh. I, I, we're, we're pretty much for team. <laughs> for strategic. All right, first lady, happy birthday to you. Thank Enjoy you for spending it. some of your time with us today on this special day. Thanks, Betty. Thanks, Dan. You Have a great one. Day.